Nakwini was famous throughout the world for producing its award-winning Barrel of Laughs. They exported their barrels to every continent and right across the globe. Cameron, the super cooper at the Cooperage, was proud of their craftsmanship. Cameron and his team used the finest oak to create the special narrow lengths of wood known as staves. Each stave was individually heated and shaped to form the bulge of the barrel. Then Cameron's chief hooper, Harry, bound the staves firmly in place with iron rings. When the barrel was fully intact, a healthy dose of pure laughter was dropped inside before the lid was firmly closed. The barrel would wibble and wobble for a bit until the laughter calmed down, ready to roar again as soon as the lid was opened. Ochwini was a happy village, so the laughter was always in plentiful supply. But it was also a watery village, surrounded by lochs, streams and waterfalls, and rain was in plentiful supply too. One day, an almighty storm battered down on Ochwini. The rain was relentless and the river on the edge of the village overflowed. The streets flooded and the waters rose around the cooperage until the strength of the storm burst open the big arched doorway. It was too late to catch the prized barrels of laughter as they were swept out into the street and bobbed towards the village square. Super Cooper Cameron and his team watched in despair. They knew that if the barrels were damaged as they were bashed around in the torrent, then the water would seep into the barrels and drench the precious laughter inside. There was nothing they could do but wait anxiously for the rain to stop and the waters to subside. The next day, Cameron and Harry retrieved their barrels, but the sodden laughter inside had coughed its last splutter and low gurgles turned into hiccups. They spoke to fellow villagers throughout the day and discovered that all the other local businesses had been affected by the floods as well. Ochwini was no longer the happy place it had once been. Instead, it was filled with tears of sorrow. Joy had gone for good, it seemed. The cooperage could no longer supply its famous barrels of laughter. No one could raise so much as a smile. It's a sad day, said Cameron to Harry as he looked at the empty order book. We'll have to close the business if we can't get the laughter back. I have an idea, said Harry. Go on, said Cameron. We're the experts in making barrels. What if there are experts in making laughter? If only, said Cameron doubtfully. But he opened his giggle search engine just the same. And top of the list was Professor Joseph King, renowned laughter therapist. That's who we'll call, he said. The very next day, a chirpy chap arrived at the cooperage and introduced himself, twirling his twirly-whirly moustache. I'm Professor Joseph King, here to make your heart sing. My friends call me Joe and I make chuckles grow. Barrels full of laughter will restore the happy ever after. Now let's get this done and bring back lots of fun. Cameron explained what had happened and how, following the flood, the village's laughter had dried up. He showed the professor the hiccuping barrels. Hmm... I need to use a barrel of booze, said Joe. 
Booze? Cameron raised an eyebrow. Yes, as in a scary boo, said Joe with a shout, making Cameron jump back in surprise. That would soon stop the hiccups, you see. Well, everyone here is scared about losing their jobs if we close, said Cameron. So it shouldn't be too hard to rustle up a chorus of boos. If we can get rid of the hiccups, that's a start. The team and villagers rallied round and yelled their boos at the barrels. One by one, each barrel quietened. That's the ticket, said Joe. Now, did you say that you used to fill the barrels with pure laughter? Cameron nodded. Pure undiluted laughter is rare. Why not try a blend? Like a chuckle, a chortle and a titter to add to the mix. We need a fit of the giggles too, like this. The professor handed Cameron a feather and said, now, tickle me. Cameron did as he was told. The professor began to tee hee, then giggle before booming out a huge belly laugh. It was infectious. Soon the others were all roaring with laughter. The merriment and hilarity was bouncing all around them. You see, laughter is irresistible. It will reverberate around this village in no time at all. And if your supplies run low on another rainy day, you know what to do. Cameron thanked the professor with all his heart. The laughter was indeed back for good. My work here is done and now I must run. Keep spreading the glee. It's the best way to be. Professor Joe King bowed and bounded away. The cooperage was buzzing with boisterous activity. Word had spread and chuckling villagers came in their droves and patiently queued to donate their mirth. The barrels were soon filled to the brim with blended laughter, ready for dispatch around the world. Ochwini was happy again. <laughs>